Real Talk here with Jamie Rose Levy. And ooh, tea is time to be spilled. <laughs> and yes, there is honey in that tea. So now that the tea has officially been spilled, today's tea we're talking about is transformation. My personal transformational journey has been astounding. And the awakening process of peeling back the layers and connecting even deeper has resulted in me becoming woke, literally. (laughs) Awakened, enlightened, whatever words that resonate with you, that is part of our growth journey. Similar to in nature, when there's plants rooted in the soil, growing deeper, they also grow taller and bloom and blossom. And part of that is a result of the light. So however the light is resonating with you in your journey, trust your intuition and follow the light because it's always here. And with the sunrise of each day, noticing the opportunities that come ahead and looking forward to tomorrow, I am excited to expand my breathing capacity through a deviated septum surgery. Now, this is my first official surgery other than wisdom tooth removal which you know is very on a different side of a a scale of you know the surgeries they do on Grey's Anatomy shout out to my Shonda Rhimes fam (laughs) and I'm really just looking forward to having the ability to breathe even deeper To fill my body with life force energy and oxygen and nourish my cells with a consistent flow of this source of air through my nose. And in preparation for this alignment, I have connected and learned from others that I've crossed paths with along the way and it's really cool to have so much loving support and prayers and healing energy sent to me during this time and you know it's really just the the pre-show now so I'm just already feeling it and I'm just exploding with gratitude thank you and some of the feedback I've got from other people that have had this kind of procedure is that their breathing is noticeably different. Breathing in through the nose and in the evening when they sleep, it's so much more in flow and they wake up feeling rejuvenated, which sounds amazing. And also the voice changing so it's interesting because throughout our life our voice changes every day our voice changes depending on what situation we're in the tonality what we're discussing and it also changes if we hold our nose so can you tell that i'm holding my nose right now or is this how i already sounded lol that's so funny so now that i'm letting go of my nose I'm excited to continue recording audio and compare before and after. And it makes me appreciate that I have been (laughs) documenting my voice over the years with the Real Talk podcast. And although there are (laughs) big tidal waves of nervousness of hearing my own voice... Uh, the insecurity of the sound, especially because when we hear ourselves while we're talking, it sounds completely different when we hear the playback, let alone, you know, 
just imagining what this process of the sense of speaking and hearing the senses is like for different walks of life on this journey and it makes me appreciate that I even have a nose to smell out of and breathe out of and just life I'm just infinitely appreciative so I just want to continue stating that and speaking it into being because it's so true and through the research and work that I've been doing I have been fortunate enough to scratch the surface on what it is like to walk this earth with different sensory abilities and it's so interesting because as your senses change they also transform and become stronger depending on your life and it's so fascinating because it's like evolution and the adapting to what life needs so that's a whole other like five hour podcast we'll have in the future to come and I might have a different voice then as we dive in to the details with research-based supporting details and experts in the field and those that can speak from personal experience so lots to come on the horizon that I am so inspired by which is part of the reason why I'm so excited to pump the brakes with this recovery process and I am actually going ahead and continuing to challenge myself to step so far outside of my comfort zone that we are literally in what feels like no man's land at times however feeling the excitement and passion and mission driven alignment from taking these big strides forward so part of this entails pausing what does digital wellness mean sometimes it means pausing so pressing pause on your netflix show your audio that you're listening to this right now pausing to realign with purpose as I remind myself to pause throughout the day I often take a breath however I also am pausing projects pausing things in life that I have been rushing to speed through to get to the next clue, objective, challenge, whatever language resonates with you on your journey, it's always important to pause and appreciate this moment because the present is our gift. So as I pause to appreciate this moment while I still have this voice and breathing capacity... I'm excited to record myself in a few weeks from now when I'm fully healed and recovered and breathing so deeply and connecting with all of the energy that is always present and around us. And through these next three weeks of healing, I am going to continue my meditative practice and focus on Reiki energy flowing through our interconnected time and space, expressing gratitude to the creator of all of these connections, and looking forward to learning through that discomfort, the physical pain, the pain of everything in between, And learning how we can grow through it together. So as much as I have this desire and eagerness to create, hit, send, publish, and go, go, go. I'm acknowledging it. And I am choosing to press pause. Because I am holding the remote of my life. (laughs) And I have the pen where I'm writing the story. 
we all have the power to choose. It's a matter of stepping into that power and aligning with our intuition. May we flow through this together to the rhythm of our breaths. I look forward to learning through this experience and sharing my findings as I continue to gather new clues along the way. Namaste.